Creole Parametric 4.0. We are going to do lesson 18. And I've got it on the screen right here. We're going to be able to practice our drafts, suppress, and put a text extrusion on. All right, so I'm going to close this one out and start a new one. I'll just use the default name. And I'm going to select on the front datum to create my first extrusion. And it's going to be a rectangle. Keep getting this with my mouse button. A little bit of a problem. There we go. And <coughs> you're going to round the edges. Now I have done a little investigation and if you round them here it's going to look different than if you round them after you put a draft on. So where you insert a particular piece of geometry or feature is going to determine what it propagates as when it's put a draft angle on the edges. So we want to have all of these equal so we've done this very similar one previously. like so. And as far as the dimensions go, we've got, I'm going to go down all the way to the correct one here. So we have, I'm going to put 0.5 in here. I can't remember what it was already. Six and five. You notice whenever I have these simple ones like this, I don't bother to go and uh, make my changes in to modify it using the modify. If I want to modify it, it's basically the same thing, but I've got a dialog to work with. <coughs> so you can see here some of the dimensions have been changed. One of them has not. So, okay, like so, control D. So. If it's a small, simple set of dimensions, you might as well do it right on the face of the object. And this is a half an inch. Looks like I have it a little bit bigger, 0.5. And that's because the scale was not locked when I changed the other dimension. So either method, if there's a few dimensions, just do it directly on the model. And check. And it's supposed to be, I think, a half and one and a half inches. and check. Now, I want to put an angle on here, so I'm going to go back in, and instead of drafting it, let's use the options here, and let's put a five degree angle on there. Now, some people get a little confused about this, because once you put this on here, you can't go back and draft it with a regular draft command, because it already has an angle on it. So just understand that. And we're going to select in here and remove that face with a shell. And we have two different thicknesses, 0.1875. And then you click in here, or right mouse button, non-default thickness. Select here. And we're going to make that one 0.25. So it'll have a different thickness on the bottom portion here. And you can see that if I select here and here. You can see the difference in it. The wall. So the base is thicker. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to turn my model here and I'm going to put in a protrusion in the back area, but on this surface. Don't, do not do not sketch on the datum plane. You're going to sketch here. So extrude, I'm going to select this surface here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and go to my references and select the curve and both lines. Now, when I do that, I can get rid of datum A and B. I don't have to spend time doing that, but I'm going to take it out. And <clears throat> what I want to do is put in lines along this edge. So I'm going to project and single and pick, hold down the control key, pick, pick.
pick. So now I have three lines there. <coughs> Close. And I'm going to add a couple other lines. I'm going to be careful where I get my constraints. Now, it won't give me a shaded section because I've got a line out here and a line way out here. So I've got to go delete those, remove them, a delete segment. And if I draw through them, it'll go and remove them from the screen. You'll know everything is OK because you hit your middle mouse button a couple of times and then zoom in. <coughs> you will see that it's the correct section. Now, this is supposed to be 1. And this one is supposed to be 1. Check. Now, in the book, I had you make a datum plane to go up to. I didn't do that yet. So I can go up and click on datum here, datum plane, select the datum plane down here, and I'm going to project it up 0.75. OK. Resume. And now put my cursor here to selected and select that particular datum plane. So you can build it inside your feature, or you can have it external to the feature your choice, but I wanted to show both methods. Actually, I forgot to make the datum plane, and then I realized it, and I added it during them while I made the com uh, the extrusion. <laughs> so you can't really make a mistake. You can always have a, another option to do it. Now, so I don't forget, I want you to see here, there is a little bit of a gap. Don't worry about that gap. You'll see what happens later. Now, I'm going to go back over to the book, see where I am. So we have our extrusion. And you can see, I forgot to put on this round here. <clears throat> you can add the round right now. Or you can add it with a round as a feature. Or go back into the extrude and add it there. We made it integral to the extrude. So I think I'll go back and do that. I'll click on it, edit the definition. About 90% of everything you do seems to be edit definition, by the way after you've got the model completed. So we will put in our fillet. And it's supposed to be 0.25. Check middle mouse button. And now it should look like what's over in your book. Now, the next thing after that is to draft three these three vertical surfaces. So holding down my control key, I'm going to pick all three. And oddly enough, draft doesn't come up here. So in this case, you have to go up to the ribbon and select draft. And you can see that surfaces have been selected, but it wants the hinge. So I'm going to pick this as the hinge. And, and I think it's supposed to be 5. It is 5 degrees. Uh, it's actually supposed to be negative 5, like so. So negative 5, or you can click on reverse the angle. Middle mouse button. And the next one is a <coughs> circular extrusion. And I say it that way rather than a hole because we're not using the hole tool for this one. Extrude, pick on the top surface here. I'll go into my 2D view, like so. And it's going to be a circle, like so. And it does give me a couple of the dimensions I need. So the circle itself, is a half an inch, and we have 2.93, I think, here. This is a half an inch. Oh, you can see I didn't do this one right. So it's 2.39. And the other one is 1.875. Like so. So make sure your dimensions are correct. Okay. 
and we're going to extrude up to the top of the original feature, like so. Next, we're going to draft this surface. And we are going to use this here. Make sure your draft hinges is active. And we're going to select the top here as the draft hinge. And I'm going to see what angle this is going to be. And this one is going to be 5 degrees also. And again, let's flip it and see what happens. There we go. Instead of typing in negative. All right. So we've got most of this done. I think we have one more hold to do. So we're going to select our axes first. And then we're going to hold down the control key, pick the top surface. And hole is one of the options that pops up. And the hole is going to be a quarter of an inch. And it's going to go to this surface right here. So I will go and select on this drag handle to selected. And I want it to stop at this point right here. And I think I have one more thing with this. And that's the hole itself. I'm supposed to draft it. And I think it's only supposed to be 0.3 degrees. Like so. So we have most of the geometry done, but we want to do some rounds. So we're not going to worry about the surfaces here that are on an angle. We'll look at those later. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a round here, here, and here. So We'll start off with selecting our edge here and our edge here, and then round. And that's 0 0.0625. And then we'll add a set. And we'll pick the edge down here. And this one is going to be 0.125, like so. Middle mouse button, and we have our rounds. All right. <clears throat> So we got set two. What we want to do now is we want to lump all this together, all these items. So from the extrude here down, we want to make a group. Select a group option. All right. And now. Let's take that group and let's mirror it about this datum. It doesn't preview it. Middle mouse button. But everything should come over. Okay, now we want to take those two and make them a group and mirror it again. And mirror it about this datum plane. And you should have all of them in there at this point. All right, so the next thing is, I like to call it welding in all the edges. If we, I think I'll start off with this, do a little bit different. I'm going to select here, and I'm going to pick datum plane, and then select the datum here, and make these parallel. OK. And I'm going to use that as a section. And I want you to see that there's this gap here. And I might as well turn on the sectioning. We might as well put a little bit of a different uh, color in there so we can see it. And we can see our gap. That gap is in both places, both sides. Check, and let's deactivate that so we don't see it. We can see the 
section, but we can't see the cutaway. All right, so what we want to do is we want to zoom into this area and select the angled surface here. Hold down your control key and select this surface and then round. And it's a 1 point, uh, 0.125 round. And you should notice that it welds in, which I call, puts a fillet all the way around. All right, so let's go back and activate our section and see what happens. You can see here there's no more gap on either side. All right, so deactivate it. I'm going to go Control D, like so. If you don't want to see this, you can turn off the section. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do one more. Well, let's do the bottom first. We have this here, and I think we're supposed to put in a small round. It's one of the last things to do, but we're going to do it right here. Now, it's going to be okay because, remember, we made the six the thickness different. In fact, let's let's take a look at this one more time. Activate it. And let's take a look at the thickness. So I'm going to go to view here, view normal. And you can see that the thicknesses are different. 0.1875 and a quarter inch. And go back and deactivate that again. Control D. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on some writing. We're actually going to emboss it. So this is there's a lot of features in here, and a lot of times you want to work it when it's more simple, but also so that it refreshes much quicker, it regenerates quicker. So I'm going to select all of these items here. And I'm going to click on Suppress. And it'll go back to a very simple state. So select Extrude. We're going to extrude onto this surface. 2D view of it. And we're going to click on Text. And we're going to click once and then go vertical. And type in whatever it is you're supposed to. Can't remember what it was, to be honest. And I think I have my caps on. I'll just put a few things in there. And again, you can change how it looks here. You can change the font. You can change all of these. You can even put it along a curve. We're just going to do a simple one. Right mouse button check. And it's going to extrude way up there. And all these are little facets. So it's a lot of data in here. And we're just going to go and do a fairly small one here, like so. So we've got it placed, the options. You could add a taper to it, which I don't want to do. And middle mouse button. And I think what we'll do is we'll go and uh, put a different color. That shows up a little bit better. And then let's go to model here. And by the way, I can't see my suppressed features because I, in the very beginning, I did not turn on my model tree. And here's suppressed objects. And that's one thing I always like to have on just to see what's going on in a model, especially when you're bringing up a model that somebody else has worked on, because you don't know what's hidden, turned off, or suppressed. So make sure you always turn those things on before you start. Now, I could click over here. Let me see if I can grab all of these, see if it gives me a right mouse button. 
and there's resume and everything will come back. You can always pick on operations, resume, resume all if that's what you want. And there's all my features. Take one more look at the section. Activate it. Let's edit it. Let's turn on this and drag her. Take a look at the model. Good way to investigate what's going on with it. You can see how it's cut. Solid here. There's no gaps. I'm going to undo that one. Undo it again. Go back over to here. There are a variety of things that... Um, the chapter also covers, and you can uh, follow it along. One of them was mass properties. You can get the mass properties of the model. And you should spend your time with the analysis thing, doing some measurement, checking some things just to see what's available. That concludes Lesson 18.